All right, so we already know when it comes to Anchor, they make some of the best charging slash MagSafe accessories out there in the market when it comes to your iPhone. But now they have finally decided to jump into the case game. And let me see if they got what it takes to make a strong presence when we are talking about the cases because we know with some big dogs that's out there solidified. So here it is. This is going to be the Anchor Ultra Magnetic Case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, I've been using this on and off for a couple weeks now. Really like what they have going on here. Now, I know some of you right now looking at this like, T, this thing looks just like the knockoff generic Chinese version of every other case that's out there on Amazon. And you would be right. But looking at this one, it has a few little subtle features that I think lets them know that this is their own thing and this is what they have going on. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So first thing, let me get about the phone. All right, because I was using it. You know, I was testing it out. Let me go ahead and get it off the phone and let me see what we're working with. Now, as you already see, this is going to be one of the translucent slash frosted style cases. So if that's your deal, this is going to be a good one right here for you. So right there, translucent frosted, as you can see in the back. Next thing up, they do have the MagSafe ring. They have the magnetic ring out here that's also going to rotate 360 degrees so that's a, a nice little feature to see right there a lot of them that we see that does that ring does not rotate 360 degrees so that's why i really like to see when it comes to that case other than that it's normally what you expect you got your mag safe designed by anchor on the inside nothing too fancy on the outside you do get your aluminum buttons and you know we always gotta yeah <laughs> We always gotta do a little test to make sure you feel that little cool sensation, but you get the aluminum buttons on the outside, but instead of getting that aluminum camera ring, you're gonna get a little rubberized camera ring, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you can appreciate that because some of you guys just hate the aluminum ring, and I understand, trust me, I get it. Let's go ahead and bring the scale over here. Let's see how much this bad boy weighs. Dropping it down on the scale, we are looking at 50 grams, okay? So a little bit of a chunky monkey when it comes to the weight, but it's not you know too terrible, and you really don't feel it once you get the phone up here, and then drop in the Anchor plus the iPhone 15 Pro Max, we're looking at 286 grams. So let's go ahead and get to running through this case. Now, as you already know, the lay on the table protection when it comes to this, it looks just fine, all right? No bigger lip than what you would normally get when it comes to this level of protection of a case. With this one, we're talking about medium to light-ish protection. There's nothing heavy duty about this case right here. So medium, you know, if you're a person who doesn't drop their phone every now and then, you might have a slip up, then this is something that could be for you. But normal ring, that goes around it so you can sit your phone face down nothing too extraordinary when it comes to the lip protection just enough to keep that phone up off of a surface now how does this case fit on the phone okay anchor you new to this thing so let me see if you got what it takes to pass the pull and tug test I know that sounds a little crazy, but let me go ahead and get to it. So on the top side, putting it right here, it uh it moves a little bit, but this is going to be that stiffer TPU that goes all around that case. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. You're going to have that TPU to go all the way around. So give a little pull and tug there. Around the buttons, you are going to get a little pull, but it feels like a stiff pull. This sounds so terrible. It's a stiff pull to where it feels like it's not going to get too loose to where it'll be warped over time. I don't think you have to worry about that. Coming along down the bottom, you get a little pull, but yet it is very stiff and you really got to try to pull that away from the phone. And coming down here on the bottom, you're going to get a little pull as well, but this is not the type of pull that's going to be able to get, you know, done just easily. So you really got to try to pull that down. So I don't think... The, the fit, in my opinion, is very good, okay? Yes, it does have a little bit of give, but the give that it gives is a little bit of a stiff give, okay? <laughs> if you can see what I'm saying. So popping off all the corners, okay? And that corner, and that corner as well. All of the corners pop very good, in my opinion, when it comes to this case. So good fit, good snap on the phone. These corners aren't coming off unless you want the corner to come off. Now, how does the case feel in your hands? And then we're gonna be talking about grip. We're gonna be talking about sharp edges when you're holding it. You don't have anything to worry about that when it comes to this case. Now, grip-wise, it's one place where you kind of have to, eh, when it comes to the grip. The sides are going to be made of that smooth TPU material, but this is one thing that you normally do not see when it comes to this style case, especially when it comes to the more generic style cases. They gave you a little bit of grip on the sides, okay? Case companies are starting to know that these, these cases are grippy, and we need to grip these things up a little bit more because these phones aren't getting any smaller, and that's exactly what they did on both sides. They added grips here, and they added very subtle grips, not too aggressive, but I feel like it's just enough to where you'll be able to grip that phone to give you that you know that 
This is slippery, but if you have that little bit of grip, that's all you need to really hold on to this phone, and I'm not mad at it at all. I think they did a very good job with that. So subtle grips paired with the little slippery top, I don't think it's too bad. I've been holding it just fine, and I don't think any of you will have any issues at all. Now, when it comes to sharp corners, of course, there are no sharp corners on the side. Everything is smooth. Everything is rounded off, tapered, so nothing's going to be digging in your hands or doing anything like that. Now, let's go ahead and talk about, well, the thickness, how thick it is, okay? I mean... You can check it out right here. It doesn't seem too thick. I think the case remains fairly thin. It adds a little bit there, but I don't think it's too bad. So I'm not mad at the fit. I'm not mad at the finish. I think it does pretty well, and I'm really feeling the grips that they have on the side right here. Now, next up, let's go ahead and get into that MagSafe test. Now, one thing that I always like testing is although you do have a magnetic ring, I want to make sure MagSafe charging still passes through this magnetic ring. So we're going to go ahead and drop it right here on the charger. And as you can see, it does work with MagSafe charging. Now, you know how I like to do my pull up and push up test when it comes to my base right here. It's very hard to perform this test when you have a magnetic ring because it wants to take the ring out. You know what I mean? So if you're performing a test, this ring does pick this up. I mean, that seems like a very strong ring. As you can see right here, if you can look in the camera, it basically is activating that ring. And that is a very strong ring just from being able to hold this base up alone with that little ring itself. So you can see that the, the magnet is pretty strong. It's just a little bit wonky to do this test because of the design and the nature of how this case performs. But it does work while it's charging just fine and half of you aren't picking it up and up off this base. This is a super strong base. I think you'll be able to put this on magnetic chargers and magnetic bases and pull this off just fine without having to worry about this ring always popping off when you remove it. Now, let's go ahead and get a MagSafe wallet right here. Let's go ahead and pop this on. So if you want to use something like a MagSafe wallet this is going to be a little troublesome okay when you're talking about mag safe accessories with this 360 degree swivel rotating ring it's going to be a little bit of a trouble to be able to use your mag safe products because sure you can use a wallet but guess what it's rotating right along that ring so that's going to be a big issue i'm not sure if you run this case i think using anything like a mag safe wallet might be out the question just because it has that little rotating lock i wish there was a way you can almost lock this in but of course it's not so that's what you gotta gotta deal with when it comes to that now Shake, shake test. This is going to be a little weird because once again, it moves a lot. So I'm pretty sure this is going to come flitting off with easy shake. You see, it, this is just a, this is just a mess. You know what I mean? So it wants to rotate and flip around and hold on to it. But when you're talking about regular, it did hit my tripod right there. But the, the, the test is going to be a little bit funky just because of the design of the case. So it's really hard to get it to get a good stronghold on how good this magnet is, but it does seem like it is fairly strong for everyday activities, which I know a lot of you will be doing. And if you do want to use that 360 degree case, which I'm always a fan of these because it just works when you're popping this up. If you're looking at content somewhere, I can be working at work on the office, about to go to sleep, just sitting and chilling somewhere. And you can pop this up and look at it any way you want, any way you kind of want to rotate this to fit, you'll be able to do it. And that ring works really, really well in my opinion. So this is going to be the Anchor Ultra Magnetic case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This case is sitting at $30. Now, the $30 price point, mm -hmm, I don't think it's terrible. I think it's pretty good because considering this is kind of like a what you get with a speaking ultra hybrid frosted for about 20 bucks, add 10 more bucks on it. You're adding the mag set it, the magnetic clip so you don't have to use any attachments on your speaking case. That's kind of the way I see it. I'm not too mad at the price point. They come in a few different colors, frosted, black, white, white, a few different colorways. You can see the link in the comment down below, the link down below. But other than that, I think it's a solid case. I'm not mad at it of what Anchor did with this case. So if you guys want to check it out, man, if you love your Anchor products when it comes to charging, then you might want to go out there and check out the Anchor Ultra Magnetic case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Check it out. I think it's pretty dope. But if you want to see the latest Anchor product that I did, which I absolutely love, and it's my new on-the-go charger, I will be sure to pop that video right here.